just over two weeks, President Trump gives his State of the Union address. We thought it would be a good time to get a full measure State of the Swamp assessment. We went to two swamp watching experts, the first Congressman Ken Buck, a Republican we first interviewed about two years ago, who blew the whistle on the swamp and party elites who he says live like kings and govern like bullies. Is what you describe what some Americans might call the establishment? Absolutely. Congressman Ken Buck is a former federal prosecutor. He spoke with us in 2017 after writing, Drain the Swamp, How Washington Corruption is Worse Than You Think. It exposed what he called pay-to-play corruption, backroom arm twisting, and congressional positions for sale to whoever raises the most money. More than two years later, we set out to find what, if anything, has changed. How much of the week, on average, do you think are people, members of Congress, having to spend raising money? Oh, I, I think that uh, we probably spend somewhere between a quarter and a half of our time uh, raising money for, for re-election. Has that been about the same in the years you've been here? Yeah, I think so. In terms of a brief review, can you describe the process of dialing for dollars, what happens, how money is raised here? Sure. So we go over to uh, the NRCC offices, uh, or uh, we we call. I oftentimes call from from my uh, condo here in town. But uh, uh, literally, there will be lists prepared for us to go over to the NRCC and call from lists. The NRCC is the National Republican Congressional Committee, which is outfitted with the fundraising necessities, cubicles, and telephones. Democrats have their own version. Both offices just steps from the Capitol. Do you have a quota as to how much the party expects you to raise? I, I do have a, uh, I don't know if it's a quota, but uh, it is a, uh, it's a, a hard and fast goal, I would say. How much is yours? Uh, my right now is $275,000. You have to raise in what time period? Uh, over the two year cycle. With fundraising limits, meaning you can only raise so much from a single person or entity, right. that must be hard. It, it, it's challenging. Do you feel like you've fallen into the system? This was something you, strongly objected to and criticized when we last spoke. Now it sounds like you're operating quite well inside the system. Yeah, I still object to it. And, and I, my, my objection was always that there was an amount of money to pay to be on a committee or an amount of money to pay to be the chair uh, or the Republican leader of a committee. And I still uh, have strong objections to that. But in terms of raising money for my own reelection, uh, I think everybody comes here knowing that if they want to get reelected, they're going to have to raise a certain amount of money. Larry Clayman is also a former federal prosecutor and longtime swamp watcher. He heads up Freedom Watch, a public interest group that investigates government corruption. What would you tell the public is the state of what we may think of as the Washington, D.C. swamp today? It's a club. It's like the National Football League. You have the American Conference and you have the National Conference, but they're all part of the same conference, the same league. And they protect each other because they're making a tremendous amount of money. They're acquiring great power. I've heard that from a lot of people. President Trump came into office promising to drain the swamp. We are going to Washington, D.C., and we are going to drain the swamp. Has he had success or has the swamp gotten the better of him? The swamp has been trying to swallow him up. No, he has not had success, and I commend him for trying to do that. But they've been trying to impeach me from day one. They've been trying to impeach me from before I ran. Okay. What I like about the president is that he will say what's on his mind. You may not always like what he says, but he doesn't pull any punches, and that's quite rare. The problem is, is that around him are people who want to take him down, even in the White House. And the poor guy's been fighting for his survival now for going on three years. So there's a lot of things that he's tried to do about cleaning up the swamp, but it seems that the swamp has got him more than he's got the swamp. Let's say President Trump is not reelected. Where do you see the state of the swamp going? I think it'll go crazy. What if President Trump is elected to a second term? It's really hard to gauge what's going to happen, but I hope that somehow he breaks through and does hold the swamp accountable. I hope that his Republican establishment on Capitol Hill, in fact, even people in the White House, will start to back him up. Look, he's not perfect, Cheryl. You know, I have to say, I don't think he committed an impeachable offense with regard to the Ukraine. 
but having just been cleared of the Russian collusion investigation, it had been one of the stupidest things to do, to then try to influence Ukraine to investigate Biden. I don't think it was impeachable. I don't think he committed a crime, but he handed them, the Democrats, a gift. Frankly, many Republicans are not on Trump's side. Well, they've never wanted him there because he breaks up the money train. He breaks up the power train. President Trump came in promising to try to drain the swamp. Has there been any draining of the swamp here on Capitol Hill? You know, I think the president's done a good job with the, the folks that he has uh, put in place on his cabinet. And I think he's done a good job in, in other ways. But uh, in terms of uh, the legislative branch, it has been uh, largely unaffected by, by the president's policies. Has anyone ever sided up to you and said things like, tone it down a little bit, Ken? Any fellow members of the Republican Party or any leaders? Sure. Go along, get along? Sure, a absolutely. And, and on the same side, I've had, uh, or uh, along the same lines, I've had people come up to me and say, Ken, you're absolutely right. I just can't help you with this. How do those conversations go when someone kind of tells you to go along? Well, they, they, those are short conversations. Is there anything to be said about the power of one? Do you feel like you personally have been able to make any sort of difference in terms of the swamp as we know it here in Washington, D.C.? No. Easy to answer. <laughs> There's no, no need to uh, explain that. Uh, there are so many people that like the system the way it is and thrive in the system the way it is that it's, it's impossible. Buck says, above all else, he hopes he's been able to make more Americans aware that the system is broken.